everybody. In my first video lesson on vocabulary building, I have discussed with you one of the strategies for vocabulary development and that was adding of affixes. That means adding prefixes and suffixes to the base word or the root word. So in continuation with that video lesson, today I am going to discuss with you some of the common prefixes and suffixes. So here you can see a list of uh, prefixes. So the prefixes I have written here, in, im, so i, r, i, l, and you can see un, non, dis, and d. So these are all prefixes that changes the meaning of the word, or we can say these are the negative prefixes. So with in, we have inability, invalid, uh, and then you can add on more words. I have just given two examples. Im impossible. So possible, impossible. Immoral. Moral, immoral. So irregular, irrelevant, illegal, illiterate. In the same way you have unable, unusual, non-violence, non-fiction, dislike, disagree, degenerate, defrost. So you have seen like these are all negative prefixes that changes the prefixes that change the meaning. And uh, what you need to uh, remember is usually when this I N is changed into I M when we have words starting from P or M. So P and M. So impossible, immoral. In the same way, when a word begins with R, so I N will change into I R. Irregular, irrelevant. And when it's L, so I N is, uh, is converted into or I N changes into I L. Illegal, illiterate. So these are the list of negative prefixes. And then we have prefixes of position, that is case. Like impatient, Outpatient. So inpatient, outpatient. In hospitals, we often see these words, inpatient and outpatient. Then you have midway, midnight. So these are also prefixes that you can add on a base word. Then inter. Inter means between. So interrupt, interfere. And then tele, telephone, television. Tele means distant. And then transport. So that means trans is across. Transport, transfer. So these are some of the common prefixes and we still have some more prefixes. Uh, this is pre uh, prefix of position, that is time. So pre, so you, you all hear about pre-primary and before the primary level. So pre-primary, prefix itself, that is fixing before. So prefix, pre, -pone, pre a meeting is pre -pone. Then forecast, weather forecast, you often hear about weather forecast. So post, it's after, postpone, the meeting is postponed. Postgraduate, so these are prefix of pre, for, post. These are some examples of uh, prefix of time, position, it is time. And then we have prefixes of quantity. So hyper, hypo, over, under. So hyperactive, it's overly active. Hypertension. So this is a state when your blood pressure becomes very, very high. So hypertension. Hypo is less than the required uh, amount. So hypoactive, less than the activity that is considered to be normal. Hypoacidity. So in the same way, hyperacidity is another way of using. Hypo, hyperactive, hypoactive. So, hypoacidity, hyperacidity. So, over, overeating, overreact. So, when you eat more than your body can digest, so it's overeating, overreact. Then you have underpay, underestimate. So, undereating, it can be used. So, underpay, underestimate. Then we have prefixes of number. Uni, mono, bi, di, then semi, or in the American accent is semi, and tri, cent, multi, or multi. 
So unicellular, it's single cell, uh, cellular organism, organisms that are made of just one cell, unicellular organism. Monologue, like in dialogue, it's a conversation between two persons. So monologue is just one person. Bicycle, we have, you have two wheel, two cycle, bicycle, bike. So this is digraph, semi-solid, semi is usually half, tri, three in number, cent, hundred, so century, a hundred. And then multi or multi, this is a multinational company, too many. These are some of the common prefixes that I wanted you to look at and think about. And in my next video lesson, I will discuss uh, some of the common suffixes. Thank you.